Hi guys, in this video we are going to have a look at the Kitley 508 micrometer. This unit is designed for low resistance measurement, values from 10 microohms to 200k and has got a 4.5 digit resolution. This particular unit I'm going to show you is quite old, around 30 years, however in a perfect work condition. I also would like to show you the inside of this unit, perform some measurements and compare it reads with some other meters. So let's get started. Here is the unit we are going to have a look today. A Kitley 508 micro-ohmmeter. That's an auto range unit with an auto range time about 200 milliseconds, but here in the bottom you can have a manual selection of the range. There are seven resistance ranges from 200 milliohms to 200k ohms with a 10 microohms resolution on the lowest range. You can select the range pressing those buttons here. This first button here limits test voltage to 20 mV to protect sensitive contact junctions. That's a dry circuit test feature and can be used in 200 mA, 2 ohms and 20 ohms ranges. Here in the lowest part, we have the maximum test current indication from 100 milliamps to 10 microamps. Those last two buttons here are the auto ranging and the operation and standby mode. By default, this unit is in a standby mode. When you press this button, the instrument will take the reads. The standby option should be used while setting up the measurements. Now let's have a look in the buttons in the left hand side of the unit. The first button is the on off button. It will turn the unit on and off. This button allows the user to engage the single and drive function. They are in yellow color. First, we press shift and then we press our desired function key. The relative button is used to establish a baseline reading. This reading will be subtracted from all subsequent readings. The single option allows single measurement for minimal heating. And when you press the trigger option, it allows the operator to make single resistance measurements at desired intervals. We also have an external trigger option in the rear of the unit. The polarity button allows the user to select a positive or negative source. By pressing polarity, the source will reverse its direction. The polarity button doesn't affect the sign of the display reading, only the direction of the source current. The drive filter allows the user to select between two source waveforms, boost or DC. When you send a known current through an unknown resistor and measure the resulting voltage, you can calculate the unknown resistance by using Ohm's law, and that's what this unit does. The problem with sending a current through a resistor is you're gonna have a side effect. The resistor will heat up and change its resistance. To solve this problem, this unit has this pulse option. It means the unit will send a measurement current for a short period of time and is leap for another period of time. 
the dude cycle prevents the resistance to heat up. On the right hand side of the unit, we have the source and sense connectors. Now let's have a look in the back of the unit. Here you have the calibration, enable and disable switch and mains power voltage selection. The power lead of this particular model is not detachable. Now let's open the unit and have a look at the inside. So here is the inside of the unit. The measurement system is controlled by a Motorola processor. Here we can see the mains transformer. And 822 ohms resistor in there. Here you can see the Motorola processor and the interface peripheral. Which interface peripherals to the microprocessor unit. Some variations of this model have a battery pack on top of this cover. Let's take it out and see what we got underneath it. Here we can find a little toroidal transformer. Really interesting stuff. To deal with the current source, we have some precision resistors in here. This one has got four wires and it's a fifth ohm resistor. Close to the resistors you can see two shift registers. LCD rainbow cable. And in there we can see some end channel MOSFETs. Here we can see how the range selection buttons work. Above the buttons you see the IC controller for the liquid crystal display and in there some others and channel MOSFETs. A film capacitor and in there we note a high precision resistor network. So that's the inside of the unity. Now let's perform some measurements. The first thing we have to do is connect our test leads. So here it's one of our leads and here is the second one. Both of them are composed by double cables, so here you have two banana plugs and the other side uh, an alligator connector. The same for the red one. So since you have got uh, two cables, one is the source and the second one is uh, the sense. So we place the red one and now let's place the black lead. Once the leads are in place, we have to 
hook up the resistor between the alligator connectors to have an idea of how good is the performance of this unit we are going to compare the measurements between this BM629 digital multimeter this LCR tester from China which works great for most of hobbyist applications and this benchtop multimeter from Hagelin that's the model U3606A now let's select some low value resistors I'm gonna take the lowest values I have the first unit we are going to use in our comparison will be the digital multimeter so let's turn our unit on and select the ohm measurement option now let's take one ohm resistor before starting the measurements we have to hook up the leads together and press the relative button of the unit in order to get rid of the resistance of the leads this unit has one and a half inch resolution for resistance measurements now let's see the value we read for this one ohm resistor as you guys can see we have reading here 0 0.9 ohms now let's see the value we get from our Kipley micrometer before starting we are going to repeat the same procedure let's select the range press the operation button and you see the resistance we are getting from the leads so now we press the relative button to get our reference value now we are able to take the measure and the unit is reading 0 0.9874 ohms let's see what happens if you change the range of the unit so let's select uh, 200 so we have just two digits now selecting 20 you have three digits and select two on this range we have four digits let's use the same resistor and see which value we get from the LCR tester we hook up the resistor and we press the blue button to get the measure 1.32 ohms way out if you compare it to the previous measurements the next unit in our comparison will be the Ashland benchtop multimeter the low resistance measurement feature is based on the same principle we have to hook up the source leads they should be hooked up in the outermost part of the resistor they will provide current through the resistor and to read the measure we have to hook up the sense leads The sense leads should be hooked up as close as possible to the body of the resistor. Let's press the low resistance option to get the read. It's reading a value quite similar to the kitley. Now 
Let's repeat the procedure with a 2.2 .2 ohms resistor. In the same way, the first one will be the BM629. And it's reading 2.1 ohms. Now, keep play micrometer. Let's select the range and as you can see 2.2 ohms Now let's see what you get from the LCR tester Two dot six to one ohms. Once again, way out. Let's see the value you get from the benchtop multimeter. Two one nine five with variations in the last digit. In this round, four dot seven ohms. Four dot five ohms. And the key play is reading four dot six five four ohms. Four dot six five six ohms. If we change the drive option to DC it won't affect the measurement for such a short time and such a range of resistor value once again it's time for the LCR tester five dot sixteen ohms The Agilent is reading 4.64 ohms. Now let's take a resistor with a higher value, 20k. Let's see what the BM629 is reading 20.18k. And the kitle is rating 20.19. For higher resistance values, the LCR tester gives us better results. For 20k ohms, we don't need to use the source leads. We can get the reading, the Agilent, straight from the sense leads. We are not using the low resistance option. The kitle should work up to 200k. Let's see what happens when you try to measure a 220k resistor. Even we select all the ranges, the indication we have in the LCD is overload. Now let's measure some high power resistor. This one is 10 ohms, 10 watts resistor. Let's select the right range 20 ohms in the operation button so we're reading 10.015 ohms the Agilent is reading 10.33 ohms just with the sense leads if you hook up the source and sense leads 
and use the low resistance option we should get a better value and we got 10.017 ohms closer to the read we got from the Kitley micrometer now let's try a ceramic resistor this one is 5 watts 7.5 ohms and we are reading 7.66 ohms the Agile reads the same value finally let's measure a 100 watts 50 ohms resistor let's select the outer range and the kit is reading 5.05 Ohms. So that's it guys. I hope you guys like the unit and the video. If yes please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will catch you next time.